for them. It's in the event, but I don't have one printed. But that's okay. All good. Hello. And we are ready and ready to roll here for <laughs> Wise Animal Rescue today. Right. We're painting it forward today. And uh, as we have everybody start checking in, let us know who you are, where you're from. And uh, if you have your silhouette or you don't have your silhouette, and then that will determine what uh, course of action we'll take next. All right, Jennifer, it's all yours. <laughs> Hi, guys. Definitely let us know where you're painting from. Checking in. We're going to give everyone a few minutes. But yes, have you, um, I forgot to put up a post about have you lost a pet? Um, and then give us your photos. Send us your photos of your pets. Oh, yeah, that's right. So far we have Erica. Hi Erica. Rosa Shusky. I'm not sure if I Rosa said that Kat, right. Rosa Kowski, nope. No. <laughs> Raja Shevsky. Tough names, girl. <laughs> or Ro Shesky. No, it's <laughs> Rosa Mark Lowe's trying to figure out everybody's name. <coughs> Bella, I'm nine. Hi, My birthday Bella. is on May 28th Aww. from the USA. Happy birthday, Bella. Are yeah. we doing the, uh, today, we're doing the Wise Animal Rescue Pay It Forward. Yeah. Oh, good. Erica said that was pretty good. <laughs> Rosaszewski. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm not sure. I like to get the names right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. we got Emily, I mean Emma and Riley from Branchburg. Hi Emma and Riley. Are you gonna paint a unicorn today? We've got Selena and Millie. Right, well, you can paint unicorn, down. horses, or whatever. I have a feeling most of these girls are painting a unicorn on their rainbow today. Okay, like for instance, we have Allie Danielle hey, saying, I'm so pumped to do a tribute to my kitty who went Aww. over the Rainbow Bridge. That's what, you, that's what we're here to do today. That's right. Yeah. And we're doing it for the purpose of uh, Wise Animal Rescue, where we got our new, our newest addition to our family from. Yipper. He's uh, walking he's around here, down here, <laughs> pouting because uh, his mommy <laughs> is going to do a paint session. Yep, that's him. And so if you hear him in the background snorting and everything, it's just because he's like a little, a little, little perturbed because uh, he has to wait for her to finish this. And here he comes. Hi, boy. Christina Michelle says, I'm doing a dog. Yay. Yeah, see, he's Hi. not going to be denied today. He's like, yo, I'll, Hi, I, baby. I'm tired of this, mommy. You, you're painting all the time. We're doing this because of you today. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing it because of you you today. You know, something has to do with it today. Yeah. But he still wants all her time. <laughs> That's right. I'll give you guys a couple more minutes. And in the meantime, I'll tell you about us. So we are Mimosas and Masterpieces. I'm Jennifer. And behind the computer, reading your names and your comments and giving me your direction is Mark. Um, we are out of South Brook, New Jersey. Normally, we would be going out and doing this in person with people. But with everything going on, of course, we have had to cancel all of our fundraising events, including this one. Um, so this was supposed to be an in-person event and we, of course, had to cancel it and we decided to go, go Facebook Live with it. So we are hoping, you know, we're asking that you do a donation of five to $10 to Wise Animal Rescue at the end of this any tips or donations that I normally would get would go right to them. So I want you to send them to them anyway. Um, so they don't even have to come through me. Um, we uh, lost our dog, Buster, in July last year. Yeah. And he was with us, I had him for 20 years. He was 23 years old, about 23 years old. And that was a tough loss. So we waited until about December and Aiden, who is my son, uh, started asking, is it time for a new dog? We hooked up with um, Tatiana of Wise Animal Rescue, if you know her. She's an amazing human, absolutely love her. And we connected with her to get Rascal, and Rascal has been with us ever since. And he walked into our home seamlessly. He's just been like he's always been here. 
He's very, um, he's possessive of me. <laughs> he likes to be right by my That's side. That's putting it lightly, possessive but of you. He is well loved, and I think he always was well loved. But um, well, also explain that he's an older animal. Yeah, which we. Is what most people don't. Uh, yeah, we were rescues. okay with um, taking a senior dog. So he's eight years old, and that's considered a senior, even though that's not really very old in our world of dogs that live to 23. Right. So, um, but he's he's been awesome. We love him. We love him, love him. He's a good part of the family. And we just want to um, want to give a shout out to Wise. They're doing an amazing job of fostering the animals that you know need rehoming and getting the word out there, but they also incur all the costs of all of any surgeries or issues that these animals have to deal with. So it's important to give back to them because they are a nonprofit. Yeah, um, a very nice organization <laughs> and nice, nice people. We were denied from two other organizations previously. Um, we are not, I guess, an ideal, typical family as, you know, they, they want you to check all those boxes. Um, but why is saw us, saw, you know, how the interaction was with Aiden with Rascal and handed him right over. Um, he's just, he's been amazing. So yes, that's why we're here today. Well, we so. got Denise and Mika from Hi. Connecticut just joined us. Hey, Denise and Mika. Welcome. We're still waiting for a few more people to join up okay. and, uh, before we get started. Yeah, and uh, what we would like to know is how many people out there who are ready to go, do they have their silhouettes? ready or do you uh do you most, need instruction on how to do that yeah so most of them what i did was in the event if you didn't see it there is a bunch of silhouettes in the event um and you can still do this afterwards because i'm not going to be able to explain how to paint 20 different animals or shapes or silhouettes so um i'm going to do a dog because i just learned today that my aunt lost her dog yesterday oh man so we're going to do one for buddy um Buddy crossed the Rainbow Bridge last night. So oh, we are going okay. to do one in honor of Buddy today. But um, in that, in the event list, in the discussion, there is a bunch of silhouettes listed. If you don't see your animal, I mean, there's a bunch of unicorns, but if you don't see the animal that you're looking for, just Google, you know, pug silhouette, if you have a pug, um, and they'll come up. You just have to print that out. And even after you're done painting it, you all you have to do is, um, Put that on the back of your canvas so you'll tape it underneath your canvas to the bottom left corner right and then you'll hold it up to the light and you'll be able to see the silhouette right through your painting and then you can trace it and then just fill it in with black okay okay so that's the way we're going to do the silhouette i know it's it's a little unconventional for a painter to tell you to trace something but in this case because we're not with you all in person and because there's so many different ones that's what we're going to advise you to do. Okay. Now, Bella, <laughs> Bella says she's ready. Ready? And, uh, Chris, uh, um, Allie is ready. All right. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're... I guess you're about ready to yeah, start. Yeah, I think we can go over everything. Let's go over our supplies. <laughs> so you can use any size canvas you want. I'm using a 16 by 20 canvas. I have it on my easel. Just cover your workspace. Make sure you don't get paint on mom's tables, right? We have paper towels to dry our brushes. We have, we're gonna work with two different brushes today, maybe three depending on your silhouette. Um, I'm gonna use a flat brush, a large flat brush. It's about that, like that. It might be a little smaller depending on what set of brushes you got. So one of these two kind of brushes there. And then I'm gonna use a smaller round brush to do our rainbow and our silhouette. Okay. <clears throat> I have a cup of water to dry or to rinse our brushes. And then I have a plate that we're gonna use to put our paint on. For the most part, we don't need to do a whole lot of mixing. So you may only need one plate to, and you can mix right on your paint plate. And then our paints. So I've already put mine on my plate this time since I was trying to reserve my paint from last night. So I have our primary colors, red, yellow, blue, white, and black. And that's all we'll need today. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of mixing for your purple and your orange and your green. So, but for now, your three primaries, or five primaries, <laughs> yellow, red, blue, white, and black. That's all you'll need. If you have purple, if you have green, and you want to use it, not mix it, 
You can add those on there. Okay. Okay. So I'll give you guys a minute to get your paint on your plate, and when you guys are ready to go, just give us a thumbs up or a little heart. And let yeah, us know just you're let ready. me know you're ready. Okay. We don't want to leave anybody behind. We don't want to go too fast for anybody. So if we're going too fast, you tell us slow down. I'll slow down. You need me to repeat something? I'll repeat something. But and I'll I, ask her to repeat it. Yeah, but we'll repeat it anyway. So, but if you need more, you let us know. We're here to have a good time today. We want you to enjoy this. We want you to enjoy your painting. So yeah, that's we know it's important. early on a Saturday. You know, it is. twelve noon <laughs> Eastern time. So those of you on the <laughs> West Coast or well, yeah. anywhere outside of the East Coast, you know, it's probably still pretty early. Yes, exactly. <clears throat> and just for y'all that, just for you people that don't know, um, yeah, we'll be coming back tonight to we do the are. palm tree sunset. That's at nope, seven o'clock tonight. Not the palm tree sunset. We're doing the parrot. Oh no, we're doing the parrot tonight. The parrot and the palms. That's yeah. right. Sorry about that. This one is tonight at seven o'clock. If you decide to come back and paint with us tonight, yes, we'll be so doing we'll this be later back tonight. Yep, -er. we have lots of paintings coming up. Almost all of our events are free right now. Um, we only have one that is a paint and meditate that has a small fee. But other than that, everything is free. We do post um, a link for donations or tips, depending on what we're doing. But um, again, that's up to you. All right. Okay. We got some thumbs up. You guys are ready? Yes. <clears throat> okay. So we're going to start with our large flat brush. And again, it doesn't matter whether you have it as the three quarter inch size or the one inch size, whichever one you want. I'm going to use a smaller one so it'll take me a little longer for you. How's that? Okay. <laughs> You're going to rinse and dry that brush. So we're going to rinse and dry. We're doing the whole background first. So, and we're going to cover our canvas in this way, in this, this in your canvas is getting covered this way. Okay. So we're going to do a corner of blue, a corner of white on our brush. Corner of blue, corner of white. Okay. We know how to make X's, right? X, 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 X. So you're going to do this all over your canvas. So how I do it, because I started getting good at it, you go down with the blue, over with the X or, or one side and over. So we're going to do that across the entire canvas. But you're putting white and blue white on White and each blue corner. together. White and blue together. So you're just going to keep going over that in X's. So back of my hand, front of my hand, back of my hand, front of my hand, back of my hand, front of my hand. And then go get more. And then blue just grab and more. White. Yep. Okay, that sounds pretty easy. Okay. As you're going though, just grab the edges of your canvas, your top and bottoms and sides. Now Ali says, if I have a cat sketched out, do I cover that? You're gonna, you can cover it. You'll, you should be able to see it later, but if you don't want to cover it, you can paint around it. It's okay if you go over it a little bit, but if you have it sketched out already, then yeah, you, you can try and avoid covering it. Right, so don't, or just don't paint over it so hard that you can't see it. Right. You could do it lightly in that area. Yep. And then, then, then you'll come back to it and... You got it. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so Allie, be careful with your cat that you have good sketched job. out already. Thank you, Allie. That was a good catch. Yes. I forgot about that part. So you can paint over it, but just do it lightly so that you can still do your cat. Yeah, I mean, if you happen to go over the edges of it, that's fine, but if you can avoid going over your sketch that you did already. Right, or just don't even go over that the, right. the sketch because you're going to paint so that that's in black. that's perfect. Yep. All right, good, good, good catch. You could, I mean, good call. Yep, thank you, Ali. So and there's no rush. Nope. So just keep doing your X's with your blue and your white in each corner of your brush. Yep. And you're going to fill the whole entire canvas with this X with these X's you're doing. Yep. And see, you're doing them fast. Now, that's what, you, that's what you mean. You are. Yeah, as you start you're going. You're doing it, so you do it real fast. Yeah, so you want to blend the colors on the canvas. Okay. So, normal, a lot of my canvases, when we do them, we're doing straight horizontal lines because we want a nice, smooth area, a nice, smooth sky. Right. In this case, we're kind of up in the clouds, right? The rainbows are really high up in the sky. So we want to pretend that it's like a little floaty and there's clouds in there somewhere. Okay. So we're just sort of 
put in X's everywhere. And if you want like an area of more clouds and lightness, you'll just grab some more white and blend some more white in there. Okay. And if that you want will, to make clouds. Yeah, if you want to make... We're going to make some other clouds later, but if you want like a lighter area, right. if you feel like it's too blue, you go just grab more white and and go back over it. That's all. And once you get the hang of it, then you they can do yeah. the, they can do the quick X's like you're doing right now. You're doing <laughs> the quick X's. Yes. And you're doing the outside of your canvas. So again, I'll, I'll show you that. So it's I'm kind of pushing down like back back of the brush. Yes. And twisting my twisting my brush and doing the front of the brush. So back of the brush front of the brush. So it's like twisting my wrist. Can you say that ten times? Twist back of the brush? Back of the brush, front of the brush. Back of the brush, front of the brush. <laughs> <laughs> so you're trying to pull all that paint right off of your brush every time. And then get more. And then grab more. Yep. If it starts to feel like thick or sticky uh -huh. and it's not moving on the canvas, you can always go grab a little bit of water on your brush and, and start brushing it. that way. And oh. that helps Okay. Helps move the paint on the canvas. My paints are thick right now because these are paints from last night that I used and I was just trying to reserve, be conservative. Okay. So this is going <clears> to <throat> take about a minute. Oh, but yeah, they're learning the technique here with the X, with the X stroke. Yep. We're going to, I'm going to. they're putting the blue and the white all across the canvas. Correct. I'm going to fill mine and once I'm done, then I am going to go over all of the other upcoming events that we have because we have a ton coming and we sort of want this background to dry a bit before okay before we go, go on to our next. rainbow okay so yep so you guys take your time and enjoy painting if you have questions you let us know why we're going because i could talk the whole time while we're doing this <laughs> so you guys let us know <laughs> <clears throat> Right, so so far, um, I think it was only Allie who said that she, she was doing the kitty. The cat. Yeah, what are you guys doing? What else are you painting? And um, Bella, Bella said that she was doing uh, a dog. Oh, that's right. Okay, but I don't know who, what, uh, you know, who else is doing what. Yeah, let us know what you guys are painting. So at the end of this, what we definitely want you to do is... Send us a picture of you guys painting. Send a picture of you holding your painting. We would love to get all of your photos together. And what we end up doing is putting together a slideshow of all of your paintings. And we'll post it in the event and we'll post it to our page so that you can share it and see it and see yourself in a, in a little video. It's a lot of fun. Oh, okay. Now we've got uh, Riley is doing a unicorn. Yay. Erica is doing the unicorns. Okay. Okay, Emma is doing a frog. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> Aw. Emma, did you get a frog printed out? I didn't print a frog out. I never thought of a frog. But we certainly have a lot of pets in our house. We have hermit crabs, and we have a cockatiel, and we have parakeets, and we have the dog, and we have fish. So, yes, a frog is not one I thought of. Seems like probably I'm taking more white than blue just to lighten it up a little bit. Okay. I want to be able to see my rainbow over it. Again, if it feels a little thick, just grab a little bit of water and that will help move that paint along and fill in all those little tiny crevices of the canvas that are peeking through. Right, Selena and Millie are doing the unicorn. Yep. That's what I thought at first. I thought it was going to be people really wanted to do the unicorn. unicorn. Yep. Well, that's what we figured that we could, um, even when this was an in-person event, we wanted kids to be able to participate with us and, you know, not not quite, not, not equate it to an entirely sad event of... Now, Selena and Millie are asking, can they paint over the pencil outline? You um, Try not to. Try, try not, not to. to. Because uh, unless you could still see it when you paint over it, because that's going to be the part where we're going to put that unicorn in there. Yeah. So try not to. I mean, it's okay if you go over it a, a little bit because you should be able to 
you will probably remember your outline for the most part once it's there. Right. So try to not get over it, but if you do, we can always, you know, you can always put that silhouette, um, back, silhouette back behind there and go do over it again. it again if you They'll need to. They'll be able to see through it. Yep, you should be able to see through your painting. Well, just to be on the safe side, don't try even not. paint over the yeah, silhouette. Yeah, try not to. Just paint around it. I don't know about you guys, but my arm is getting tired. Really? <laughs> well, you were doing this yesterday. <laughs> and Wednesday. Yeah. And um, yes. Make sure you grab those edges when you can. Yeah, you had a pretty busy week. We have. I've been mean, working from home, homeschooling. The birthday was Wednesday. Yeah. Or was it Thursday? Thursday. Thursday. It was Thursday. Yeah. Right. You did a, you did a session, uh, a virtual pay session on Wednesday. We did. You took the day off on Thursday and had your birthday. Mm -hmm. And then we were right back at it yesterday. Yeah. And then now we have, uh, today we're doing it, what we're doing right now with the Wise Animal Rescue, the rainbow with the unicorn. And then tonight is the uh, the parrot. Yeah, I'm excited for the parrot. That one's going to be more difficult. Really? It's going to be more difficult? Yeah, it'll take a little bit more time. There's a lot more instructions for that okay. than there is for something like this. But um, but we'll get through it. we got to charge it. We're still coming back tomorrow. We have, uh, oh, yeah. we have an event tomorrow. We have butterflies, right? Yes, we're doing the Mommy and Me Butterflies. Yeah, so if you guys want to paint butterflies with us tomorrow, come on That's back right, tomorrow. That's right, we're painting uh, two different types of butterflies tomorrow. Yep, if you want to paint with mom, mom and me, or a sibling, then you can paint two different canvases. If you want to paint by yourself, we're going to paint it on a single canvas too. And that's going to be around this same time tomorrow. We're going to be here at 12 noon Eastern time. Yep, 12 okay. noon Eastern <laughs> time. I wasn't sure. So it's an early, you know... It's just to get the day started, you know? Yeah. You know, we, we, we choose these times. And, um, like, you know, it's, it's a, a few of you who are here painting with us right now, but not as much as we normally have. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, but that's because of the time. It's just early. Mm-hmm. You know, it's an early Saturday morning, pretty much. It's okay, but you know, the best part is that you can, you can grab all of our videos to anything that we've done. They're all in the events. So if you need to, if you need to stop today and you can't finish it, then you can just go right back to the video that we post later. That's the good part. You and know, that's same the good thing, part like tomorrow, this. if you don't want to do the parrot tomorrow with us live, then you can go right back to that video later on in the evening or. Or when the time um, is right. Or the next day. Same with, t well, tomorrow is the butterflies. So if you can't do the butterflies tomorrow morning. You can always do it at another later. time. Yep. That goes for any of the any videos of them, that yeah, we yeah. have for any of the events that we've done so there. far. we got quite a collection going. <laughs> That's the good part about this, you know. Yep. It's nice to join us live when we're doing it. But uh, if you can't make it, you can always take the time out when you want to paint. Then you can paint whenever you want. Now you got plenty of paint to, to choose. And from. you're like a step ahead of knowing what everybody else is going to do tomorrow for the butterflies because we're using this same technique for the butterflies as we just did for the background. It's oh. just X's in the background. Wow. So okay. So you'll have a nice collection if you do decide to do butterflies. Now you can do little little canvases, twelve by twelve canvases. You don't have to do big ones, or you can just do one single one. And this also could be just a twelve by twelve instead of a a 16 by 20. And now both of those butterflies you're going to paint tomorrow. Yep, I'm going to paint both versions tomorrow. So you could do a monarch one. Or you could or do you a could mommy do, and me one where yeah, two people are. Yeah, or you can create whatever colors of butterfly you want. That's going to be awesome tomorrow. Yeah, I'm going to probably do two 12 by 12s and the 16 by 20. So I have a, we have three different versions or four different versions. Okay. Alright, so we're waiting for everybody to yeah, it's going to take you guys a few minutes. When you guys are done, just start sending in, okay, ready. 
just so we know you're ready, because I know it's going to take you guys a little longer than me. Yeah. So let's go to the next event. What are our next events? We have uh, the next event we will have after Friday. after the Mommy and Me Butterfly is going to be the Let's Go Camp. Let's Go Camp is back. That's here. on Friday, May the twenty second at eight p.m. That's this guy. That's so that's good. next Friday, right? Yeah. Saturday. Saturday is the horse. Saturday uh, is the abstract Eiffel Tower. Oh. That's on the twenty third, and the horse. Yes. And we got a double event on that Saturday. Next Saturday okay, so. is a three p.m. meeting for abstract Eiffel Tower. All right. So this is abstract Eiffel Tower. We're just going to do the top part of this. I'm not going to show the bottom part. So we're just going to be from the this area up because this takes a really long time to do. Okay. <clears throat> so that's that one. And then that same day at 7 p.m. we're doing the horse or unicorn, unicorn so you running in the water. So my unicorn lover is what you can do. Again, this is sketched out in the event. So you just have to print it out and sketch it behind your canvas so you're ready to go. And we'll, you can turn this horse into a unicorn by just adding a horn, right, guys? Yeah, a lot of people have said, <laughs> a lot of people have said they want to do this one. Yes. We have lots of people with and us that's going to that be at 7 p.m. on Saturday, next Saturday, again, May both. 23rd. The Eiffel Tower, the abstract Eiffel Tower will be first. That's going to be at 3 p.m. on that same day. Yep. Okay, and then uh, that <laughs> day after, which is a Sunday, we also have a double event okay so we're doing two double events yes. next weekend yes. saturday we're doing two and sunday we're doing two yes we're doing another mom and me we're That's doing the, the moonlight kitties. kitties okay the moonlight kitties is going to be done at one o'clock next okay. sunday the 24th of may that's a mommy and me event, so that means, or or it could be couples event, or you know, couples, it could you be know, dads, it could be siblings. That's right. Anybody wants to get together, <laughs> get the whole family together, and put them up in pairs, yeah. and we'll make uh, kitties sitting <laughs> on the fence. And just think how cool it'll be if you have multiple people in your family. You don't have to. You could keep going and not have a moon. You know, just have a moon in the center, and then add another kitty on this side or that side. That right, you'll really be able cool. to instruct them on how to do that. Yeah. Right? That'll look really neat. All right, so that will be at 1 p.m. Yeah. That's the next, the following Sunday. Okay, that's the next weekend. And then the second event that we have that same Sunday, that Sunday night, is the Heart in the Sand. All right. That's this one. So we got double events yeah. next weekend. Yeah, it's a really busy weekend. Yes. The Heart, Heart in the, the Sand. sand. Yeah. And then they could put messages or yeah, initials absolutely. and stuff like that inside of it. Yep, yep. Okay, well that, that that covers next weekend. All right, we can go we can go into the rest of the uh, yeah until the rest of the upcoming events. That, you know when you take your next uh, okay when you take your next break. I I've got a indication Couple. from Erica that background is done. Cool. Okay, and I'm still thinking other people are still working on their backgrounds because yeah, we I don't know, have any little... indications yet. Yeah. We give a couple minutes for them. But, uh, but, yeah, let us know. what. So, actually, here's another thing I could talk about quickly. So, we're talking about Wise Animal Rescue. They're also doing another fundraiser right now. We've been doing this for the past, I guess, about a month now. Uh -huh. um, they have been doing, it's called Primitive Pet Portraits. So, what you'll do is you will submit a photo of your pet, and it could be a current pet. It could be a pet that's crossed. You'll submit a photo of your pet to them, and they will assign it to an artist. It could be an artist of any skill level, so you don't know what you're getting, but all of the ones that I've seen have been amazing. So we got Chucky. This is Chucky the Chocolate Lab, and this is the painting that we did. So you, when you submit your, your photo to WISE, you do that with a $20 donation, you will get a, um, a photo picture of whatever the artist did and then if you decide to purchase it you can do another donation to wise and you can purchase the original from the artist that's cool yeah it is really neat now that's this one that you just did for the art um for the uh for the owner of that and the, do they know that you have it yes she does it's actually a friend of mine in fact chucky the chocolate lab if you search on facebook chucky the chocolate lab he has his own facebook page oh he has his own books 
Chucky makes mistakes. He's a he's a little famous Insta dog. Oh, okay. So you're gonna get that picture to the owner? <laughs> uh, I probably will because she she happens to be a friend of mine, which was it just so happened to be that way. Wow. But uh, but the other owner of the other painting that we did did um, purchase it, and I just asked them to donate to Wise instead of pay me, and um, we sent their painting out last week. Okay, so Emma and Riley is uh, you guys are ready. Done. Yay! Done with the sky. Very good. Uh, we're still going to wait for a couple of more people. Yeah. Cause it, they it, should almost be right there. Yeah, it's and it's good to let it dry for a couple of minutes, too. So, that's okay. Well, that's good. Yeah. Now, what's the next thing? The next thing you're going to begin? We'll do the rainbow next. Okay, so we're going to be doing the rainbow next once everybody's finished with their skies. Mm -hmm. And I see how you did with the white and the blue. Yeah, it looks like they're sort right. of in the Allie sky. Allie is still painting. It's okay. Go ahead, honey. It's okay. We're not going to rush. We're not going to rush. We'll give it a few more minutes. For those of you that are done, um, let us know. Do you have any pets? Do you? What are your pets' names? What, have you painted with us before? What have you painted with us? Or are you looking to paint something else, looking forward to paint something else with us? Or let's see, or do you have suggestions of what you'd like to see painted if you haven't seen it done yet? We have a list of suggestions. I don't know that I'll get to everything, but I'm trying. Mm -hmm. I'm trying. You're painting almost every day. We are uh, personal, yes, I'm painting every day almost. Yes, and at some point we have to figure out how to do a, a canvas auction. I don't know. How we're gonna do that. I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Well, the paintings are piling up in Just, here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's probably a good sixty paintings here, uh, if not more. And that I mean, this is what there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe we'll, there's maybe about two we'll, dozen there, and then there's probably about 50 in the other room. Maybe we'll set up a whole bunch of easels outside on the lawn and just put the pictures out there and see what happens. See That's actually kind of a funny by. idea. That might be neat. This way you can make more room for new paintings. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna or have you can to. send people paintings. You know, maybe I we know. should have some kind of competition or some kind of a drawing or... We'll figure it out. We'll come up I with know. something, and then we'll send if people pictures. If it just pictures. didn't cost so much to ship, because that one I did check that we shipped right, to. Right, this is Wesley. Yeah, that was 22 bucks. I think it was, to ship it. So that it's, yeah. it just cost too yeah, much Yeah, that cost a lot of money. Yeah, but Wesley so, was special, so we had to send right. him that picture. No. And he was so knocked out over it. He was very <laughs> happy. And that's what we want to do. That's right, absolutely. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure out yeah. some way to get the pictures to them. Yeah. Um, yeah, and in the most cases, if we have to ship it, then we'll just ship it. Yeah, we'll but, uh, yeah, if they're in New Jersey, I'll drive it to them. <laughs> <laughs> Mimosas and Masterpieces Delivery. Just the Masterpiece, not the Mimosa. <laughs> <laughs> now, Selena and Billy, uh, let's see, they have Coco, our bird. Oh, what kind of bird? Honeybee, our dog, Misty, oh. our puppy. Aww. Okay, um, okay. let's see here. I love animals. I'm an animal lover. Bella has four pets, a pug, a shizu, a poodle, and a chihuahua. Wow. Uh, that's, that's a heck of a mix. Yeah, that is a heck that's of a, a mix. That's a heck of a mix. They don't fight. Really? That's awesome. Especially the chihuahua. Hi, buddy. I ate all my macarons. You ate all the macarons? What? They were good, weren't they? You ate them all. <laughs> We picked up a quarantine bakery box from Lauren at Simply Sweets this morning. And a quarantine bakery box? That's what they called it? And it had a, a stuffed cookie. It had a, a brownie with a cookie on top. It had macaroons and macarons, because they are two different things. Wow. Macaroons, where's the macarons? Mac the macarons are where you're eating. The macaroons are the coconut things that I like. <laughs> where are they? They're in the same box. I thought they were the Don't eat them. Well, well, no, see, now Bella says that um, they're nice to each them. other. They're, all of those, aww. all of those dogs are nice to each other. That's, That's so good. good. You figured that your Wawa would, you know, like, try to be bully on anybody. 
Aw, that's so cute. <laughs> Are they white or yep. different colors? White. I saw where they start the rainbow. Oh my gosh. Are you about ready to start the rainbow? I think so. Now, for those people who are not caught up, don't worry. I'll have her repeat the steps on how to make the rainbow. Yeah, if there's too many of them that are not ready, then we'll not. No, I think we'll everybody's wait. ready. I mean, Allie might be a little behind, but um, but I'll make sure that you repeat so that she can catch up. Okay, let's see. Let's look at this one. All right, so I'm gonna go to my, we're gonna rinse and dry that flat brush. And I'm gonna go to the round brush that I have. The so, round brush? So I'm using the smaller round brush of the two. So you might have two of these round brushes. You might have one that's a little bit thinner. Uh huh in bristles and the other one I'm gonna use the thicker one for our rainbow. If they don't have a thicker one? Then you can just use a smaller one. Okay. Use what you got. So you just want something that's thinner than this big flat brush. Okay, yeah, Ali says I'm almost done, so go ahead and go for it. <laughs> I will repeat. Aw, very good, okay. So we're doing our rainbow, guys, here we go. So we're starting our rainbow with red, right? So we're gonna do two dots. Remember, we're gonna almost connect the dots here. Okay. So I'm gonna start my red rainbow. So I'm gonna come over about one inch and put a dot there. Right up at the top. Top left corner, I'm coming over about, and maybe it, maybe almost two inches, an inch or so. Okay. Doesn't have to be exact. Everybody's is gonna look different. This one will look different than that. All right. Okay, and we're, we wanna connect it down here, and I'm gonna come up about an inch from the bottom left. Okay. Okay, so we wanna almost do like a backwards C, right? Or maybe the top part of a B. So I wanna go out and around and connect my rainbow. Okay, so you're making a curve. So we're making a big curve and coming down and around. It does not have to be exact. It doesn't and, have to be perfect. And we, so the only point, um, the only challenge of it, not that it's even a challenge, we just want this area up here to be thinner than this area down here. So this is gonna be a little wider down here. Okay. And again, you could try and like skip over where your, um, where where your silhouette, silhouette is. is. Just skip over that and go right back to it. So All right, so don't paint over the silhouette. Try not to. Just, and just stop where the silhouette is and then pick up where the silhouette is ending. Yep. So then what, when they do the silhouette, then maybe they might have to paint in the rainbow after they finish doing the silhouette, if they have space that if they you can't have space, cover. Yeah, I guess you could, I mean, try and get in there in those little crevices around there, but don't, don't stress too much about it. Okay, just don't paint over the silhouette. Try not to, I mean, if you do, again, you can always go back to trying to trace it from behind your uh, painting. Okay. So I'm just getting this a little bit wider coming down here. So it might end up being about maybe three quarters of an inch wide. Okay. Down here. But you started up at the top on the left side of your canvas with the little red dot. Yep. And then you went all the way all down the to way the down. bottom, about an inch up, and put another dot, and then you made your little major curve. Yep. And now you're painting that in. I'm just painting this in. So. That's just one part of the rainbow. Right, so this is our red and it's gonna be our orange. So oh. it's red and orange. So that's why it's a little thicker down here. It looks thicker here than it does over there. Right. Because this is gonna be red and orange. Okay. Okay, so again, it's thinner up here. Oops. Thinner up here and it gets a little wider as it comes down and, and around. And you're still using the red. Just red for right now. Are right, you just covering up all of the spaces yeah, that I'm you see? Yeah, I'm just making sure I don't have any little pieces of canvas peeking through there if I okay, can. Okay, you want to make sure it's all red. Yep. Yep, yep. Just cover. Again, you, you know, your background may still be a little wet, uh -huh. so you might pull some of that blue and white through there, and that's okay too. Okay. So you may just get kind of a purple hue in your red. But it's okay. Not a big deal. All right. So I'm gonna rinse and dry after I have my red on there. Maybe more yellow. And then I'm gonna go to 
yellow. So you're gonna rinse and dry after your red. Rinse and dry. Yeah. Just wanna give you guys a minute to catch up there. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna go to yellow. Instead of mixing the orange on our plate, we're just gonna do it right on the rainbow. Okay. So red and yellow make orange, right? That's what happens in a rainbow. Those two colors are next to each other, red and yellow in a rainbow, mm -hmm. and then they blend and make orange. So that's what we're gonna do right on canvas. So I'm gonna grab yellow on that little brush, and I'm gonna overlap just a part of that with the yellow and it's gonna end up being orange. So you're just gonna have to kind of wipe over it a few times. To make it orange? And it'll end up turning into orange. So just keep wiping back and forth. Yep, you'll have to keep grabbing some yellow paint every couple of brush strokes. But yep. Wiping back and forth right over the edge of that purple. I'm kind of overlapping. Purple, not purple. Red. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm overlapping that yellow over that purple. Just about a brush width. Keep coming down around with that. Yeah, as I kind of like wipe, you see it turning into orange. wipe this back and forth, it's turning orange. Yep. to make it a rainbow. Yeah, there we are. Now, I don't see no silhouette there for you. No. Nope, what gonna, are you going to do? I'm going to just paint the dog on it as soon as we're all done. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. So red and orange are on our rainbow. I keep following that curved line. Grab those the edge on there if you can. And I'm gonna rinse and dry. He must know we're doing something good. He's snoozing. Yeah, he's just taking a break. <laughs> he's taking a nap right now. Cause he's here over by you. And the minute you give him any indication that you're almost done, then he's going to jump up and he's going to be like, okay, <laughs> we're ready to go. Let's go. Rascal's picture is in the event, um, in the post where you send your donations for Wise. Okay. He's in the bottom right part of that um, photo. He's got a big smile on his face. Right. A lot of people have been wanting to see Rascal. Yeah. Especially he's, that night when he stole the steak. He stole the steak on Wednesday. He stole the pizza last night. Yeah, that's right. He stole Living the pizza up to last his name night. Now, rascal. Yeah, well, that was his protest. <laughs> that was his protest for her doing these painting events. <laughs> that's basically what it was. It was a protest. Oh my! He was like, "This is it. You're gonna ignore me and not give me my time, and I don't want to share you." And this is going to be the result. I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to get that steak that I see. And, and he, then he did. did it yesterday. He got the pizza. He said, the pizza's still here. You're going to leave it here for me? <laughs> okay. You want to keep painting? Go ahead. Keep painting. And I'm going to, he came right downstairs and showed you that he had the pizza. He laid right here next to you and he ate it. <laughs> Nothing you could do, Mom. Yeah. He says, yeah, go ahead. Stop what you're doing right now. <laughs> All right, so we have our red and orange. I'm gonna rinse and dry that brush. Okay. And our next color is yellow in the rainbow. Now, if we just wipe yellow, if we just paint with yellow, yeah. we're gonna get green because the yellow that we're using is transparent. So you kind of can see through it or translucent. So I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with that yellow. Okay. So that it does, so you can't really see through it. So white and yellow mixed together on my plate. Oh, okay, you mix it together on your plate. I mixed it together on my plate this time. So a little white and yellow. 
Okay. And we're making a light yellow. And it, now we're just going to go right up against the orange. our orange color. So right down the side by so our orange. So be very careful. Yep, gently and just make going sure you down put around. That white and yellow together. White and yellow together. So they're going to have to mix some white and yellow. Yep. And then they're going to take that same brush that they use for the red and for the orange. And they're going to cover it on the outside with the yellow. Okay. Yep. That's it. And again, depending on how, how much white you have in there and how dry or wet your background is, you still may Get end up streaks. seeing a little bit of green because of that blue popping through, but that's okay. Okay. No rainbows, perfect. I'm bringing it all the way down and to the corner. We okay. have red, orange, and yellow. Just kind of going back up and around, filling those in. Oh, okay. And rinse and dry. If you guys have questions, you need to slow down, you let me know. <clears throat> I'm going to fix my little red area over here. I missed. I missed that little red area. Let's get him, let's get him fixed. So what's the next color in the rainbow? Red, orange, yellow, green, right? So next is green. So you can, let's mix that right on our plate too. So we're gonna take a little bit of blue and a little scoop of yellow. You'll probably need more yellow than blue here though. So more yellow than blue for our green. So you'll mix a green that you like, yellow and blue. You can add a touch of white in there if it seems like it's too dark. Uh -huh. But yellow and blue are gonna make our green color. And you'll mix until you like your green. And then we'll lay it right on the canvas, right next to our yellow. Okay. So they basically can make it whatever shade they like. Yeah, whatever shade of green you want. Slowly coming down around the edge. Yeah, so when they're done with this painting today, mm -hmm. we're going to ask them to... Uh, send us a picture of their painting Please, yes and whatever animals that they uh used yeah if you had a if you're dedicating this to an animal that's or a pet that's crossed the rainbow bridge you let us know what pet that is what their name is and what i could do is on my photo if you don't want to do it on yours on my photo i'll um i'll add your pet's name on the picture if you oh, if mom cool. if you guys don't know how to do that Mom, Dad. Yeah, but we definitely want them to send us a picture of their yeah, painting. Yeah, we want to see them. And we're going to rinse and dry after our green. Okay. So you've done red, orange, yellow, green. What's next, guys? Who knows what color comes next? I don't know. Which color comes next? Comes next in the rainbow. Purple? No. Roy G. Biv, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Oh. We're as many rainbows have I seen, I just never recognize that. <laughs> so we're going to go right to our blue after you have your green on there. Okay. Okay. I'm just using the straight blue that we've got. That dark blue. It looks dark according to, uh, against what we painted before. Can since we mixed white in that, right? Right. So all the way down. We've seen a lot of rainbows in real life. We have. Good luck. Well, as, as a kid, I don't even remember seeing maybe a few little, you know, very I little. I think it has a lot. I mean, our weather 
patterns have really changed, I think. And you now we have lots of random storms and then sun right away. It's but I mean, it's like wherever we go. Oh, okay, yeah. we went to South Carolina. We saw rainbows on the beach. We saw rainbows we uh, when we were looking for the horses. <laughs> um, we've seen plenty of rainbows here, right outside the house. Yeah. I remember in Pennsylvania, we were driving through a rainbow. We did. That was cool too. See, and then I remember taking lots of pictures of them too. We got a lot of rainbows <laughs> we've been dealing with. Dealing with. <laughs> yeah, the last few years. <laughs> cool. So you got the blue. Wow, yeah. it looks nice. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and I'm just gonna do purple instead of indigo violet. Okay. Oh. So you're mixing the purple. So what's our purple, guys? Do our, our girls that are painting know what what we mix to make purple? What do you make? I bet you Emily can tell me. I bet you. Right, see now Bella Bella's Bella's a uh Bella says I always paint rainbow. Yes. I love and she rainbow. she's the one that uh predicted blue was the next color. That's right. So how do we make our purple? What colors is that? Blue and, and what? Red? Right? Oh, gonna, blue and red make we're purple? We're going to mix a little blue, a little red. You mix the purple color that you like. Yeah, she says blue and red. There She's you right. go. Good job. Way to go, Bella. Now, let's see here. Selena and Millie are asking, how do we send the pictures? You uh, Once you guys take photos, you can either email them to us. It's probably easiest to post it right at the end of the event. So when we're done or in any of the posts on the page, yeah. you can just post your picture right on the page. You can message them, messenger them to us. So it'll say, like, send us a message. You can send them that way. Oh, or, but they could go right here to the page where they're at right now yep, and, then and just post can, it on that page? Yep. Oh, okay, so that's the easiest yep, way. Yep, that's the easiest way. We'll find them. I'll scroll through everything and we'll find them. All right, so we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So we are we mixed our blue and red, and we are just going down along with purple now. Well, everybody's making their rainbows. Yeah. Once they're done, just give us a shout out. Let us know that you're done with your rainbow. And then what will be next? We are going to do our, I guess we'll do our silhouette next, and then we'll finish off with our, oh no, we do the clouds them, first. Because some of them are making rainbows, but they got a little space silhouette. there where the silhouette is yeah. sitting at. So we'll do our clouds first, and then our silhouette. All right, so you're going to save the silhouette for last. Yep, we'll save our silhouette for very last. And hopefully everybody's been painting around their silhouette. <laughs> I got a lot of purple in my rainbow. So guys. they got a bunch of rainbows that's got little a big hole in it from the silhouette. <laughs> Probably. Or it's you know they where the rainbow begins and the rainbow ends. Mm -hmm. I made my purple really big, guys. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> it happens. Nobody's gonna complain about a big rainbow. Maybe I'll try and make that into two colors let's see make it two colors I'll have my indigo violet just doing another like swipe of blue in there since I made it so thick okay <laughs> it's just a bigger bridge that's all <laughs> yeah and then we're rinsing and drying that brush Yep, let us know when you guys are done with your rainbows, and then we will move on to clouds? our clouds. Yeah. Okay. Well, while we're, waiting, while we're waiting for everybody to finish up, we'll continue on. Now, we, next we, events. we covered everything up until next Saturday and Sunday. That's okay, now after that, after next weekend, the next event that we have 
is a pay event. That's this Thursday, May 28th, 7 p.m. Okay. The that Paint is. and Meditate on Zoom. Right. So Paint and Meditate is, we're going to be led by psychic medium Nick, Nikki Stewart. She's going to lead us in a meditation. Um, you'll want a quiet place to go. Um, sometimes through meditation, you start to see you want quiet, you're going to close your eyes, you're going to see different colors and patterns and things that you may not necessarily open your mind to. So we want you to just, we're going to, you guys get whatever supplies you want, whatever canvas you, size you want, and then we'll kind of walk you through painting whatever you're seeing mm -hmm. when you're done with the meditation. It's a nice relaxing time. Okay. So that's what that one is. That's be, that would be Thursday, May 28th at 7 p.m. Now, to start that weekend off yep. is Friday, May 29th. We're going Harry Potter style, oh. 7 p.m., platform nine, uh, and, three nine and three quarters. And you're going to do a, a painting of that. Yes, yeah, so that's in the bottom right-hand side of your screen. I don't know if you can see that All they not. can see is the nine and three quarters <laughs> sign up above the rainbow yeah. on the right. So it is the platform nine and three quarters from Harry Potter. Well, it's the luggage cart with the owl um in the cage and the suitcase that's what that is yes he's dreaming <laughs> um okay what's after that one okay after that one i was just watching him dreaming over there okay now uh that's saturday right after uh we do the harry potter platform nine and three quarters May the 30th at 1 p.m we're going to do kelly's no kaylee's mermaid kaylee's Tale. mermaid Tale. oh so, there's the mermaid tail. That's Kaylee Corvo? Yeah. Oh, our birthday girl. Yeah. Okay. This is what she requested for her birthday. She requested a mermaid's tail. There it is. Okay, and that's <laughs> on May 30th at 1 p.m. That's the only event that Saturday. Okay. And then the following Sunday, we're doing, uh, on May 31st at 3 p.m., we're doing the ice cream cone. Uh, ice cream cone is here. So, ice cream cone. Right. See, that's making me think of Gabriella's now. I, <laughs> I just ate up all my ice cream. I don't have any more. <laughs> Maybe we get them to deliver us some more ice cream. Oh, my goodness. We can't go there and get the ice cream? Uh, It's only curbside, I think. You can't go oh, inside. Oh, you can't go inside and look in the cab? Yeah. Oh. I don't think so. Oh. Because <laughs> I just keep ordering the same thing. I got to get something different. Yeah, so we're going to do the ice cream cone on Sunday, May the 31st at 3 p.m. Yep. All right, and then we're off until June, June 4th, which is the dragonfly. Dragonflies. Right. Is that a pay, is that a pay nope. it forward event? No, nope, it's not. Okay, so the dragonfly is on Thursday, June the 4th at 7 p.m. Life teaches, love reveals. That's it. Our dragonflies. Okay, so that's Thursday, June the fourth at seven p.m. Dragonflies. Yep. And then uh, Friday on the sixth of June is the the rub a dub pup in dub, the tub. Pup in the tub. <laughs> rub a dub dub pup in the tub. Ooh, ooh. The pup in the tub is going to be at seven p.m. on <laughs> Friday, June the sixth. Yeah, I expect a lot of people will, are probably going to want to do that one. <laughs> I can yeah. only imagine what kind of pups they're gonna look like. It's gonna, it's not. They're not all gonna look like that pup. People are gonna paint their own pups. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, now that weekend, yep. we're starting it off with the rubber dub dub pup in the tub at seven p.m. on Friday, June the sixth. Yeah. And then, wait, no, that's Friday, June the fifth. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, and Saturday, June the sixth is the autism tree. Okay. That's gonna be at one p.m. Yep. That's this one. Is that for an organization? We haven't decided where we can donate to yet. So okay. um, we want to raise uh, awareness for autism. This is um, for a friend of ours, um, Sal, her son. Mm -hmm. So we decided to make a pretty rainbow tree and there's some little white puzzle pieces. The, white, the puzzle pieces are kind of a symbol for autism. Okay. So we are doing that rainbow tree with the white puzzle pieces. And... Um, yeah, we have we asked for suggestions on organizations that work with um, autistic individuals or autism, and we'd like to we would like to paint it forward somehow. 
So that would be a good one to do it with. Yep, that's a good one. And then uh, rounding out that weekend, that Sunday on the 7th of June at 1 p.m. is uh, the family oh. fire truck. Yep. So. Now that's a pay it forward event, right? This is a pay it forward, paint it forward. So paint it forward. I mean, to yeah, paint it forward. <laughs> to our Manville Fire Company number three. We want to thank all of our firefighters and first responders and everybody during this time. So, this is one of them that we're doing. So, it's a cute family one. And in the event, I have a note that with a certain amount of donation, I will send you, I'll ship you the lights that go behind this, and it makes it light up in blank. So, oh, your fire truck okay. will light up in blank. <laughs> yes. Interesting. Okay. All right. Yeah, that will be Sunday, June the 7th yep. at 1 p.m. So, that weekend, that everything is, is at 1 p.m. Yeah, and that's it so far. So... So we will have more coming up, I assure you. Um, I don't know how many of them will be free or not. We may try and do a small fee event, but uh, but we'll see what happens. But more, we're open to suggestions, more suggestions as to what you want to see. Um, we, Like I said, we have somebody that asked for a seahorse, and we have someone that asked for Peter Pan and Tinkerbell and some Castles. Castle. And <laughs> we have lots of suggestions. I can't get to all of them, but I am going to try. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. So you ready to? I think so. We're gonna do the clouds. Let's do our clouds. So I'm playing with this big flat brush for right now because yeah. I want you guys to dry it really good, and then I want you to like fluff it. I want you to kind of get it a little bit messy, so that your bristles are a little fluffed out. Okay. So first, let's play with our brush a little bit. I kind of like rub around in my palm and make oh, what is that make do? it a little fluffy. So what we're going to do is stipple or tap our our clouds onto our canvas. Instead oh. of wiping or brushing them, we're going to tap them on. And you called it stippling. It's called stippling, yep. Okay, you did that before. Yep. We do this for a couple of different things. It's, I called it poking. You're going to put you, <laughs> but you said it's stippling. It's called stippling. And what color are you using to stipple? I'm going to start with white. And what will happen is, because your rainbow is probably still maybe a little bit wet, yes. you might pick up some of those other colors in there. And that's great. That's fine. Okay. So I'm just starting with white on my brush. You just want to dip the, the tips of your bristles in that white. I'm going to start in this corner, and we're going to kind of make a big cloud up here, but instead of wiping, we're just tapping the brush on the canvas. So it's just tap, 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 right on the canvas. And it's kind of neat actually when you get some of those other colors that I'm pulling out. Mm -hmm. And it's almost like a rainbow. And that. this is what stippling is. This is what stippling is, yeah. And you're just tapping it. So I'm just tapping. You're not tapping. stroking and you're not Not wiping, brushing. not brushing, tap. You're just tapping. Tap, 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 yep. Yep, you have to do this for a couple of minutes. Until you get the effect that you like. Yep, until you get how thick you want those clouds to be. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of white at a time. But you can make your clouds whatever shape you want them to be. And everybody's is going to be different. That's the important part. It's okay. But I just want people to understand that they're doing what is called stippling. stippling. Yep. This is called a stipple. So you can do this with any medium. Little dots with a pen, with a pencil, that's stippling. Okay. So it's not just with a paintbrush. No. It takes a little bit of practice and takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. Especially if you were to do it with a pen or a pencil. I wonder if my book is over here. It is. Let's see. So I learned stippling, of course, when I was in school. I wonder if my picture is in here. So, yep, yeah, it is. So here's an idea. So when you stipple with a pen or a pencil, there's no lines used at all. It's only dots. Oh. So this entire picture was created with little dots of a pen. Think of, like, the tiniest Sharpie little fine marker that you can find mm -hmm. and that's what this was made of they can't see the detail of it because no, it's too far yeah because it's too far away <laughs> but i mean that's all made with dots that it's must have took a hundred a hundred hours it took a long time to do but wow. this was the cover of our calendar when i graduated in 1997 in hillsborough 
And it's <laughs> all dots. It's all dots. Wow. That it is. And that so was stippling. stippling. Yep. So back to our clouds, guys. So, doop, doop, doop. Yep, you can make this cloud as dark as you want it, as bright as you want it. You can grab other colors if you want to grab other colors. I pulled some other colors out from my cloud, from my uh, rainbow here, so. Mm hmm We're gonna do one down here again. If your um, if your animal or your silhouette is over here and you don't want to cover it, you I mean you can go around it. You might I would cover or no you may not even have to cover it at all. So right, so you, you can, can go just around make it, at the it, end of it. Go around it. Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna cover this corner with a nice big cloud. So everybody should have a background, your and they rainbow. should be finishing up their rainbows, and, and now they should clouds. be stippling their clouds all around their silhouettes because the silhouettes are going to be what we do last yeah so depending on like the variation of color so see how nice and bright white that is right there you can do another you know like you can vary your colors or your shades that sort of gives them a little bit of dimension And then we can do some little clouds over here, wherever you want to. Okay. We'll go back in and add some yellow for kind of a highlight in there if you want to. So I'm just kind of tapping, tap, 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 a little fluffy cloud. All with tapping. All poking. <laughs> yep. I'm not wiping my brush, not wiping, not wiping, wiping. I'm just tapping the ends of my bristles right to the canvas. Cool. That's it. Well, I know everybody's busy painting right now because we <laughs> haven't had any comments. <laughs> yeah, you guys let us know if you have any questions, okay? I know we've got lots of kiddos working with us. Yep, and they're all busy painting their rainbows and now their clouds. Yeah. And then we're going to do the final part of the actual silhouettes. Yeah. So I'm going to put another, another little cloud buddy coming over here. Awesome. There we go. Another one over here. Kind of overlap my rainbow a little bit. I don't know if you like any another little guy over here. Okay. <laughs> you make as many as you want till you're happy with it. That's all. Cool. And then when you're ready, on the edge of our rainbow, or on the edge of our clouds, I'm just gonna grab that little, that white and yellow yeah. mix and just do the edge of each one of our clouds. So I'm gonna pretend that the rainbow is giving us the brightest light. So from the rainbow, if it's the left side or the right side of our cloud that's yeah. near the rainbow, yeah. I'm going down over the right side. I'm gonna come of the cloud. Yep. Yeah. And on this side, since it's the left side of the cloud, I'm just going to come down over the left side. Okay. With that white and yellow. And this is white and yellow that you mixed previously. Yep. It's just to give it a and little bit of color. And you have to add a little yellow to it or a little white to it so that they can, you know, if it's dried up or they didn't use all, they yeah, used all of it. I'm going to add a little bit more to it. I'm just kind of dipping from my white right to my yellow a little bit. Uh-huh. 
and that's all. Do a couple little yellow down here, some little bright areas. Do a couple up here. There's no right or wrong way. And it's still stippling. Yep, just stippling. And I'm rinsing and drying once I get my clouds in. And then you guys let us know when you're ready. Okay. We're painting tonight. We're painting the parrot tonight. That's right. Parrot so is painting parrot. tonight. Yes. Parrot. Parrot be in good ones. Yeah. It's a big, colorful picture. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm excited for that one. I'll make sure I get a nap before <laughs> I get back down here and do that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, everybody's busy. I know. So, yes, you guys just let us know when you're ready, okay? We are not rushing. No rushing. Reset. And don't forget, you know, um, on the times that we're not here, if you want to paint, all you have to do is come here to the Mimosas and Masterpieces page here on Facebook. Yep. Go to the events. Click on events. And then look at all of the different events that we've done over the past few weeks. And uh, each event has its painting. You see the painting, if you like it, then just click on the video and you can paint that picture. Mm -hmm. Only difference is we're not live to answer you. <laughs> right, we can't answer your questions. But, but, we, but, but basically them. what we do during the video is um, what we do live. We're asking questions, or I'm trying to ask her questions, that would pertain to you completing your your picture. Yeah. So, yeah, it pretty much explains everything in it. So, yeah, don't, you know, if don't you hesitate. Go pick a picture out that you like. Yeah. And there's going to be plenty more to pick from in the future. Yeah, if yeah. you um, if you have questions while you're painting that didn't get answered, you can pause the video. Pause the video message us and I'm usually pretty quick to answer you unless we're live and I can't answer but um but I'm usually pretty quick to answer so if you need something I'm happy to help okay well we got our first done yay for a Priya Calhoun all right now we're gonna go on to our silhouettes so your silhouette that you've pre-sketched yes all you're gonna do is fill that in in black that's all and what kind of brush are they gonna use you'll use whichever one you're comfortable with so if you have smaller finer details mm. you're gonna want to use that smallest brush that you can find that you have so oh yes yeah. they're coming in now they're saying done, done. yeah Ali's done Priya's awesome. done yay so I'm gonna gonna kind of wing it on a dog here for buddy buddy was a, um was a chocolate lab so, or black lab, I guess. All right, Selena and Millie are done. <laughs> so let's start with, so you Oh, guys... I'm sorry. Priya is not Priya. Priya is Layla. Oh, Layla. Okay. There we go. Okay, so yeah, so, so far, P P everyone, is, everyone is finishing up. Good deal. All right, so now you're painting. Yeah, I'm just gonna paint. I'm gonna go with a what I feel like a silhouette of a black lab dog would look like. Okay. I mean, sort of just going from my mind and memory here instead of. <laughs> but now is the time where uh, those that have their silhouettes, they can fill them in with black. Yep. So you'll fill in your silhouette. And then if they have any holes after that, they you they'll let us know and then you can tell them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you look like you painted a lab before. Because <laughs> I was wondering how you're going to do that without a silhouette. Yeah, I've done a little bit of painting in my day. I can see this. 
Right, so they're just going to paint in their silhouettes now. Yep. They've done the stippling and made the clouds. They made their rainbow. They did the background first. Now I'm trying to remember who was it. Um, right, right. Emma is doing a frog. Oh, Emma, so that I mean, can't Emma wait has to the, see. So that means what Emma has a silhouette of a frog. I can't wait to see it, That's Emma. going to be interesting. I can't wait to see it. Yes, and then everybody's doing the unicorns. So yeah. they have the silhouette of the unicorns in yep. there. They just have to fill it in with the black. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. It's going to be some interesting paintings that we'll be receiving. Yeah. This is a very tiny dog compared to my unicorn. <laughs> That's all right. You know, the unicorn is supposed to be bigger yeah, than the dog, right? Yeah, we want right? the unicorn to be big for you guys, for sure. Yes. And that dog looks sort of playful. He's sort of sitting. Like, yeah, he's like, okay, well, I'm, I don't have to go across the bridge yet. <laughs> Whereas the I unicorn is like, the unicorn is like, yes, yes, let's step on out there. Let's <laughs> jump on out there. Let's get up there. Hi, buddy. Hi, Rascal. What's up, boy? Rascal can sense that you're almost done. Yep, that's And it. that's why he just woke up from his nap. And he moved right over here closer to you, behind you and your feet. Mm-hmm. And I guess he's going to give you about another 15 minutes, and then he's going to start complaining. <laughs> yeah, because he's laying down now. He's like, okay, well, I'm just letting her know that I know she's almost done. That's why I'm <laughs> getting closer to her now. And instead of lying over there, I'm going to lie right here behind you. That's my boy. Ah, yes. And then if you are doing a pet that has crossed the Rainbow Bridge, yes. we usually like to give them some angel wings, right? So from the back of our animal, whichever you, whatever you have, mm -hmm. I'm going to come from his back area and come up and do almost um, like a little heart or... Um, Long ovals, long oval shapes. Okay. Almost like flower petals. And can you? Sh yeah, let's see that. Yeah. So I'm, and then can I'm you do that slowly. I just grabbed white, so the white will turn into kind of gray because, um, because of the black. Black the black, right? And then it's that's sort of just a shape, and then you can keep coming back down with your brush. Just with brush strokes, you can either fill in those little gaps. Or you can just come down with brush strokes. And okay. again, I'm just doing just white for now. And I grab, you know, I have a little bit of black in there because I grabbed the black. Okay. And that's okay. And I'm just going to add a couple of little yellow. And you do that for the unicorn too? No, you don't have to do that for you. I mean, you can, you can add wings to unicorn. That just makes it a pegasus. Oh, okay. But that's all. Well, what about the frog? The frog can the have, wings have wings if, he, if he's crossed the maybe he's hopped the rainbow bridge. Right, because I think the frog's legs are so strong that they could just hop. <laughs> so you don't have to put the wings on. No, there. no, you don't have to put the wings on at all. Some people that want to create a painting in memory of a pet that they've lost, they would probably put the wings on. Okay. But I am gonna write Buddy's name here in my rainbow. Oh, okay. In yellow. In yellow, that's all. Okay. This way we know what animal. We know whose it was. Right. That's all. And then you can sign your painting wherever you want to sign it. I usually do bottom right or bottom left of my canvas. In whatever color paint you want. Mm-hmm. You sign it. Do you put the year? I usually put my initials and the year. Okay. Then after that, 
We want you to take your phone or your camera yeah. and uh, get somebody to take a picture of you with your painting or just take a picture of your painting. Yeah. And send it to us and we'll put it in a put it in a slideshow. We will add it to And slideshow. we will add it to our countless pictures of times <laughs> we've gone yes. places and painted. We have lots of photos. Yes, and I encourage you to go to the Mimosas and Masterpieces page on Facebook, click on photos and scroll down and look at all of the different Everybody. places we've been, all of the groups that we've painted for. We've done um, a lot of painting. You know, just get a get an idea of exactly what Jennifer does, okay? Because um, if it wasn't for this virus, I don't know if we would have made it here to this point where we are um, yep. doing live virtual painting events. Yeah. Okay, because we were used to going out on the road and... Uh, you know, having a whole bunch of people get together and paint live, That's which right. we still want to do, but um, this has opened up a whole new world to us here, just doing these live events on Facebook, and the response that we've been getting is just unbelievable. Yeah, so if you share your, if you share your picture to your own pages, or mom shares your picture to your pages, tag us, tag Mimosas and Masterpieces, and then your friends can go to the page and see what you've done once we put it in a slideshow where they can see other events that we've done. Yep, so your you shares just, help us grow. And if you want to just have your own little events and everything like that, you get your friends together or whatever and say, yeah, we want to paint this painting from this video that mm -hmm. we've seen on the Most of Masterpieces page. It's the same thing. Yeah, and if you guys decide we are doing private Zoom paint parties. Right. So if you decide you want to do something just with your friends and just yourselves with nobody else, we do offer that for a small fee. Just That's message awesome. us. Yeah. You guys let us know when you're done. And then we'll sign right. on. Right. If you're done, you just sign in your initials in the bottom. Yeah. With the year. That's it. We and then you're done. See them. We can't wait to see all of your pictures. Yeah, me too. That was pretty good to start the Saturday off. Yep. It's only been a say. Okay, it took about an hour and a half. Yep. I figured. Done. Almost. Just about. Almost. Yeah, tonight's, if you're coming back for the parrot tonight, is going to be longer than this, so. And right, it will start at 7 p.m. Yep. And again, it's okay if um, if you decide to stop in the middle of it and come back to it the next day, you can do that too, so. Well, I figure a lot of people are going to have this Saturday right now. They're going to go out. They're going to do whatever they're going to do. Yeah, we but are then going they're going to come in and settle down around 7 p.m., and sit down and get a little drink, a little snack, and paint the parrot in the palms. And yes, Mr. Aiden says we're going outside. You ready yeah. to go outside, Aiden? Yeah, I got a vacuum the pool. Again? My maintenance. Do your, go ahead, go do your maintenance. I'll be out in a few minutes. All right. I'm going to wait until you're done. Okay. We're done. <laughs> no, you're not. Yes, we are. Almost. All she has to do is say, See ya. Almost. We want no. everybody. We want everybody to finish. Where's the big unicorn? Allie's done. I did a dog instead this time. Is that for Buster? Bella's done. Buddy. Allie's done. Yay! Good job, guys. Buddy. I don't know about the niece and Mika. He passed away. No, a different buddy, not the one that you know. I don't know about Emma and Riley. I don't know about Selena and Millie. Are we gonna do one for Buster though? I don't know if That's Erica's done. Buster. Buster. That's rascal. Stop it. <laughs> Stay there. Stay there. Yeah. Yep. Rascal. See, Erica's done. Yay. Rascal. Everybody's. Right, it was good timing. I mean, uh, everybody kept up with you pretty good. You didn't cool. go too fast. You didn't go too slow. Yay. That's exciting. We're I can't wait to see everybody's pictures. Make sure you send them to us, okay? We would love to see them. So Party thank you, you so today. much, everybody. Thank you. And we will be back here tonight at 7 p.m. for the Parrot yeah. in the Palms, and we will see you then. Bye, guys. Have a great afternoon. Enjoy yes, the weather. Yes, enjoy your Saturday and enjoy the weather. Thank you. <laughs> Bye.